Okay, from the previous video, we created these two .NET modules. Again, we cannot reference them and or execute them directly, but they're still .NET code files. I want to combine these now and, and use them in, in an assembly. So let's go over here, Control A, Static Void Main, and I'm going to say me first module dot hello. Me second module dot hello. And again, no IntelliSense support, support here. And again, I couldn't even <laughs> add a reference or somehow add those modules to my Visual Studio project to get IntelliSense support here because Visual Studio doesn't support creating modules. Uh, and so 99% of the time, you don't create these modules. <laughs> they're pretty only, they're, they're mostly good just for teaching what assemblies are. And, and knowing assemblies is an important topic. I'm going to save this. Go back to the command prompt here. C-sharp compiler. Uh, add module. Okay, add module. Me first module dot net module. Me second module dot net module. And then the input file I want is just main class dot cs. So main class hit tab for auto completion. Hit enter. Compiler grinds and we're good. Clear the screen. List the contents of the directory. And we have our two modules. Then we have this executable here. Right, and we can run it, main class dot exe, hit enter, hello from module 1, hello from module 2. So now we have a multi-file assembly. Most of the time, meaning most, pretty much all the time when you create an assembly, it is a single file assembly, exe or dll. But here we have created a multi-file assembly, and the files inside this assembly are me first module, me second module, and main class dot exe. Let's use the let's let's do some reflection here. Eldasm slash out moo dot text and let's look at main class dot exe. Hit enter. Now we can look at moo dot text and we can see hey hey look 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 we are referencing some modules. They're external to this file and. This module is called me first module dot net module, right? So this 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 assembly part of this assembly is this external module. And by the way, there's another one. Remember we did two, okay, and then we're also referencing MS Core library. This is an external assembly we've seen several times before, but this is where console write line comes from, and pretty much everything else in the .NET framework, uh, all the core stuff comes from there. I guess that's why they call it core. Library and then here's our assembly. This is the assembly manifest. I can tell because there's not the keyword extern here. And basically, this name it's it's assembly and it's main class. If we get down here, you also see hey file. Okay, we're depending on a file here. It's called me first module dot net module. And there's another file we're depending on. It's me second module dot net module. And the hash thing is something we can get into later. But then also notice this assembly is itself a module. Okay, remember I told you that generally we're creating single module assemblies. Well, every assembly has a, has a module here, and this module is main class.exe, and then we see our our code down here. All right, so there you go. We, an assembly is kind of a logical grouping of files. Right, and generally, yes, it is only one file, but 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 here in our, our command prompt, we have three files here that with and the executable and then these two .NET modules and this is a logical grouping of these files right so you can think of an assembly a little bit more abstract than just a single file it's multiple files here now in the next few videos I'm going to pick this apart and mix it up a little bit and and uh, show you how these modules they can be part of other assemblies they're not just bound to one assembly it's and, and that sort of thing